Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a full face of makeup I have in my collection that may be new, may be old, but either way, I haven't tried it yet, or I'm thinking about decluttering it. So I created this look today, full face using products that are either going to be stashed back in my collection, or they're going in the trash. So... Before we get into the video, if you're new, I hope you would love to join our family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do lots of makeup, lots of hauls, but I also do reviews, tutorials, hair, nails, all of it related to beauty. So if you're into that, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting if you want to see how I got this look. I think it turned out pretty well, but we did have some duds. Then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we are going to jump straight into this video. I'm going to try not to talk too long, but y'all know how that goes when we get chatty in these get ready with me. So I have my bin right here. Some of this makeup is new. Some of this makeup is, it's been in my collection for a minute and I just have not used it yet. So I am in the process of, I'm not doing like a full declutter per se. I'm going to use, let me do this first and then I'll talk. <laughs> Um, this is the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. I remember when this came out, I really wanted to try it, but I was like, Barbara, you don't need any more primers. And then of course, Ulta with all their gifts with purchases, they had a gift bag that had this in it. And I was like, see, there you go. This is perfect. I'm in the process of like, I don't want to sit down and act actually think about decluttering. It literally gives me anxiety. And I know that probably at the root of it is a problem. Like there might be some, <laughs> some people might want to say some hoarding, some something within that. I don't care. This is one of my things that literally makes me very, very happy. And it's not taking over my house. I can still pay my bills. It's not like I'm shopping and not paying bills. So I don't see it as that much of a problem. But sitting down and actually trying to declutter just, I feel like is never really that productive for me because I end up not decluttering anything or not decluttering enough. So right now what I'm doing is just kind of going through, this is peeling a lot. I don't know if it's my moisturizer because sometimes that does do that. But anyway, um, hmm. I'm going to try this with another primer, with another moisturizer tomorrow. And if it's bad, I'm trashing it. So the idea of right now is use it. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, throw it. Stash or trash. So that is what we are doing. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow first because I have a new palette. This is, well, I haven't used this palette yet. And all this stuff, I don't know if I said it already, is drugstore. Um, I feel like I tend to do a lot of high-end makeup videos, mostly because... My hauls are a lot of high-end stuff, but I do have some drugstore stuff and I want to show you guys what I have and let you know if it's good, if that is more your vibe. So I remember picking this palette up at Walmart. I'm going to try to keep my drugstore stuff specifically to like Walmart, Target, CVS, not really Ulta because Ulta then you can get into Juvia's Place and all that. Um, I know color pops at Target, so I might add some of that into some of my other videos. But for right now, I'm going to try to make it easy. I'm just going to use concealer on my eyes. And I have this Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer. Y'all, this is not open. Do I have another one? Oh, you know what? I might still need this one later because I have these other two that are open, but these are more my skin tone and they'll be fine to use for an eye concealer. This is the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer from L'Oreal. So I got two shades and I thought I was gonna be able to use these as like no makeup, just put something under my eyes and go, but I feel like they ended up being too dark. So I'm just gonna use shade 265. 265 looks lighter than 260. Anyway, 265 Cappuccino. Yeah, that looks dark. And just use this on my eyes as my base. 
I am happy to see that you guys really seem to love my home tour. Thank you so much for all the congratulations and the well wishes. It has definitely been a process, but I am loving the house. I love the neighborhood. I've had people come over just to not necessarily come over, like knock on the door, come over, but I've had people come over. I'm opening a powder. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Um, I have one of the other Milani powders, but I haven't used this one yet. So we're going to use this one. Um, not like come knock and come over, but just like when they've seen me outside, this is kind of a beige shade. Um, when they've seen me outside, they just come up and introduce themselves and tell me how great the neighborhood is and all that good stuff, which I was a little worried because a couple times I've been out the irony, right? So one of the guys that works at the gym is a cop. And so when I told him where I moved, he was like, oh, you should have talked to me first. Not a good area. Better be careful. Lock your doors. And I was like, what the hell did I get myself into? Because my old house, even though it was a rental, like I could leave packages on my porch for four days and nobody touched them. I had to do it before. I'm going to start off with a crease shade and just go with this shade right here outdoor. We're just going to do, actually, I'm going to go a little more pink to match my shirt. So we're going to go ahead and do destination. And I'm going to use the brush that's in the palette. If you can even see. Oh, yeah, you can see this. Um, yeah, so I was like, how do I go from like being in a neighborhood where I had a great neighbor who would, you know, take care of stuff for me if I needed her to. I should have went with a lighter base. Who would take care of stuff for me if I needed her to and also have like all my stuff i felt safe i never worried about anything so that made me really anxious about being here but then talking to the neighbors they were like oh no and you actually picked the best street to live on because this is further in the back of the neighborhood so like people are not coming back here just to come back here they are coming back here for a reason so that made me feel a lot better but then <laughs> i also went out with some friends one weekend and the police officer working security remembered me and he was like, hey, Hiram. And I was like, why do you remember that? He was like, because you work out and I remember us talking about that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, told him where I moved and he was like, mm, be careful, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, what the hell? But then again, when I told him what area he was like, oh, okay, that's a good area. So gotta take stuff people tell you with a grain of salt because if I would have just left it up to what these people were saying I would have been thinking about we need to move already I'm gonna go into fearless this darker shade here same brush I have no idea what I'm planning on doing with my eyes so we are just kind of winging this I'm sure y'all know like there's some areas where you can say I live in this city and one part of the city will be really really bad and then another part of the city will be great so it literally just depends on the area. But I'm like, I wish people would think about that before they would say something because y'all got me thinking I'm about to move in the hood and my house is going to be robbed and I need to start staying strapped all the time, carrying a gun. And that's just not the vibe. Like, I don't live like that. I think I've also kind of been told I'm a bit naive when it comes to stuff. But like, I'm not naive. I know bad stuff happens. I just... I do my due diligence, right? When I'm out late, I look around, try to make sure there's nobody lurking anywhere, which these people are so much more sophisticated than I am when it comes to stuff like that. They could probably be lurking and I wouldn't even notice, but you know, I do my due diligence. I walk with my head up trying to see what's going on around me. I used to walk like on my phone and all this other kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm aware, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to be scared, if that makes sense. I spend a lot of time by myself. I'm at the gym late and I don't want that type of life. I don't know. Hopefully people think, oh, she has muscles. She looks big and scary. I'm not going to mess with her. <laughs> I don't think that's the case that people would really think like that, you know, but hell, if it, if it works, it works. So I think these colors are showing up pretty nicely. I am going to take, I wish, I guess we're going to go, 
Hmm. With this shade here, I'll, I'm probably going to try to like combine these two. So let's start with desert. I'm going to do the darker pink shade first. So we're going to go with desert and I'm going to put that on my lid. And then I'm probably going to put experience on top of it. That is pretty. I'm gonna see how it looks with my finger and then I'm gonna see how it looks if I wet my brush. Cause I honestly do not have a lot of experience. Oh yeah, there we go. With Profusion Shadows, so. That's a pretty shade though. Yeah, I just, I don't wanna live my life in fear and like walking around anxious and nervous or like sh sh not wanting to leave the house or something crazy. Like. Be aware, but don't be scared is how I want to look at it. But as far as house stuff goes, um, I think I'm at a good stopping point. Like I would be perfectly fine having a get together right now and having people over. Like for the most part, stuff is pretty much set up. I do want to get a new bedroom set for the guest bedroom upstairs. Ooh, yeah, we needed a little lightness to that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. I wanted an in-between shade and that is what it's giving me. Um, just because the set that I had before got damaged when I moved and I just kind of was like, I don't even know where I wanna live. If I'm staying here, how much here in Georgia I meant. Um, you know, how much more moving I'm gonna have to do so I'm going to wait till I get settled before I replace that set in case I have to move again and then I don't have to worry about it getting damaged in another move. So now that I know I am here and staying, I want to get something nicer for that room. I want to spray my brush and see. I know sometimes with... Drugstore shadows, you got to do a little more work to finesse them, but that ain't all of them. That's just some. But it's good to know you can make them work and you don't have to spend all the money on high-end stuff if that's not in your budget or you just don't want to. Maybe you like spending your money on other stuff. I like spending my money on this. I'm going to take this dark green shade voyage and see if I can just add some more depth but oh that is holding its green and not turning black which okay it's kind of dying down a little bit overall just really happy with that life is calming down I am competing on October 28th which is it feels like it's coming up so soon and like I'm kind of ready, but I'm not. <laughs> I always get like this at this point because especially with my shoulder right now, like I'm still trying to figure out how to work my bench press and not have excruciating pain when I do. And it's just when it gets to the heavier weight, there's no way around it. Um, I do plan on having surgery at the end of the year and I'm glad that I ran into a friend at the gym who also had to have this surgery. And he told me about his doctor and said he had like no issues and it healed pretty quickly and, you know, just a really good experience for him compared to what I was being told at the other with the other doctor I saw. So that was very encouraging for me because I'm not going to say I was chickening out. I have to get it. I don't have to get it done, but I'm choosing to get it done because it's at the point where like sometimes I have to be careful how I put my clothes on because my shoulder will literally dislocate and I have to pop it back in place and it is not a good feeling. So it is now more of a quality of life thing that I'm also working around as opposed to just like, you know, it hurts when I work out. So it definitely needs to get done. I'm not gonna put it off. I think this is where we're gonna stop right now with the eyes. I always feel like eyeshadow, and I say this all the time, looks a little crazy until you get the rest of the face done. So I always 
touch it up after I get that done. But we're going to move into the rest of the face and then come back and finish that. I have a little bit of fallout, not too bad. So I'm just going to wipe that away real quick and then we'll jump into the base. For my foundation, I have this Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. I have probably had this in my collection for a year. I am trying this today because if it does not last, being that it is a serum, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so I have room for my makeup to look like crap if it chooses to look like crap and I will be okay. This is in the shade deep, oh, deep golden two and a half. Me and golden foundations. It does come with a pump. I'm pretty sure they still, oh, this is watery. I knew this was going to be a mess. <gasps> no, you did not just get on my table, Lord. Oh, everywhere. Let me be careful with this because I'm trying to like squeeze it on my finger and it is just going everywhere okay let's try to do this you know what i'm not about to play with this i'm gonna open the cap and i'm gonna swipe it on my face because this is tripping it looks dark let's see if we can get some coverage out of this i'll try to play with this pump later but she making a mess Let's see how much coverage we can get. I feel like that looks way different than it looks in the bottle. So keep that in mind if you can't try it out in the store. Let's see if we can get some coverage. Huh, okay. It has a very liquid consistency, but it's definitely giving me some coverage, so all right, we can keep going. But yeah, competition coming up, and I am cutting weight for that. So I've had a few people comment that they are able to see that I've slimmed down a little bit. I am actually down almost 15 pounds, which is absurd to me. Like, Number one, there was no reason for me to be as big as I was. I honestly was still working out, but I was just eating. I was eating and I was drinking and I was having fun and I was not restricting myself because I didn't need to. Um, being injured kind of played a part in that too because I just felt like this doesn't feel good. So eating, <laughs> I am a, I have an inner big girl. That is my happy place. Like I love food. I love drinks. So if something doesn't feel good, this is a little dark, but y'all know that's my preference. I would rather that than light. I don't know what's going on. I got some texture on my face, but I've also been trying out new stuff. So who knows? Um, I'm wondering if this will build up once it dries down a little bit. I don't feel like I've had to do a lot to get my diet in check. It was just number one, I needed to stop drinking. And definitely cut down the amount because alcohol has a lot of sugar and it also changes how you digest your food. Um, just not really any good benefits to it, to be honest, other than how it makes you feel. And when you start feeling like you're overweight and not being happy with yourself, you can drink more to numb it momentarily or you can get your shit together and change your eating and work out and of course I already have the workout part so now I was like you just need to stop being stupid in the kitchen so I've added a little bit of cardio y'all know how much I talk about how I hate that but I felt like it was a necessary evil just to make sure I lose weight but not lose my muscle because I don't want to lose strength and then another thing that I also had, I'm going back in with the Revlon concealer, which I don't think I'm gonna like the shade of this. Nope. Oh Lord, this might not have been the day to do this because I need to take pictures after. I forgot what I was saying. This shit is so yellow. <laughs> what was I saying? Lord, I don't know. I done lost my whole train of thought. We're gonna do this and then I'm gonna go back in with some more foundation and try to fix this but yeah so anyway I am basically just trying to make it through this prep with my shoulder intact 
And then at the end of the year, I am having my shoulder surgery. And then I am also having a hysterectomy. Um, I am not... Like, I've had surgery before. I had my knee surgery. I came back from that. So I'm not scared, per se. I think I'm more just worried the shoulder like how much time am i going to be down is it going to be similar to what i had with my knee is it going to be worse um but the hysterectomy i'm not worried about the recovery time i'm worried about how it's going to affect me afterwards with the hormonal changes because that is something is tickling my nose um that is something that also plays a big part in your weight so if I am trying to lose weight and I'm having trouble doing that because of whatever with my hormones, because I'm going to try to, of course, keep my ovaries. But if they say like, hey, we have to go do this while we're in there, what can I do? So, you know, just trying to stay optimistic, but it's also really hard because I really won't know. I've been suffering with fibroids for years and it's just getting to the point to where it's starting to wreak havoc on a lot of stuff. My thyroid levels were low when I got my blood work done this year. So that also played a part in my weight. And I can always tell when it's hormonal because of where I gain the weight. This is from years of lifting and knowing my body this is what i eat this is what i do and so my body should respond this way and it's not i don't know why we need to look at other stuff kind of thing versus just a wake up one day and all of a sudden the weight is there it wasn't that drastic y'all this pump on this thing is trash like i just tried to put some on my finger and it is all down my finger um i don't like that and is that something i will throw away the whole foundation for I have over a hundred, so the answer is yes. I've heard different stories from people. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. I don't like the shade of it. She's gonna go. I can tell you right now, if I say I don't know about something, I do. <laughs> that means I don't, and I'm not keeping anything I don't like. There's just no point. I have way too much stuff in my collection. Maybe if it was a different shade, but I'm not going to keep something saying I wish it was a different shade. So I'm going to set this before it creases with that Milani powder. I can't bake because this is already light and I'm probably just going to have to go over it with a darker powder. I feel like because of the shade of this, though, it almost kind of darkened it. Do y'all see that? Or am I tripping? Let me get this forehead. Lord, I'm like, everything creases so fast. Forehead or eyes? Which one? I will say that I do feel like this is very blurring, but it is also very ashy looking. And as light, I don't know if it's because the concealer was so light. Like right here, you can still see my dark spots. So this, I'm not getting full coverage from, I mean, is that even medium coverage? from anything I've used so far, but not necessarily mad at it. I do want to set this foundation though, because if it is a serum, that means, oh Lord, why is this messy like this? Oh, she might've had issues during the move. I grabbed another powder because the one that I have is too dark for this foundation. So I grabbed the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This one is in Sable Deep 2. It is not that deep, so we're just going to go ahead and use this to set around the perimeters of my face. Um, that other powder I still have not used yet, but I do want to use it soon because I bought it and I want to see how it works. I I don't know. I found I think I had a coupon. It feels like that's always the answer for everything um, for the age perfect or L'Oreal products in general. And so I wanted to try the Age Perfect line. And so I grabbed a bunch of stuff from there just to see. But maybe I can pile this up enough to get some coverage on my cheeks. I feel like by the time I add all the rest of my stuff, we're not gonna be able to see that anyway. So I think this is coming together. 
All right, four bronzer. I was thinking about trying to do a liquid little situation because I bought this really deep elf concealer. I don't know if this is going to be dark enough right now. Let's see. Mm, she's looking a little chocolate. I don't think that's going to be dark enough. I don't know what I bought this shade for. It adds some warmth, but it's not. A, oh, maybe. I love the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in general. So I think I just got excited to see a deeper shade. But I think they have even deeper than this. Let's see. Yeah, we can get that to do something. Put too much on this side. Bring it on this side. But I also had a friend ask me if I would consider doing like cooking content or like just kind of doing some diet related stuff on my channel. I don't really want to go that route because honestly, I don't do a lot for my diet. I literally just tell myself, you need to start cutting your portions and you need to stop with certain carbs not all carbs are bad get that out of your head if you think that not all carbs are bad i like how that looks um cut out certain carbs at certain times of the day or depending on what i'm doing that day um it's more of a very strategic what is this is this a bronzer yeah this is a lip the lip bar bronzer in bronze beauty i'm gonna set my concealer with that um, I don't really like do anything crazy. I don't have any kind of special recipes, meal prep. I just cook big batches of stuff. If I'm cooking salmon, I will get a big, big slab from Sam's and I will season it with some salmon seasoning and some garlic and herb and cut it up and put it in the little Tupperware bowls. And that's my meal prep. Like it's not rocket science or you know any intricate recipes and spices some people just make it so complicated and I know that's why a lot of people feel like they don't even want to try because it just feels like it's too much it's not it's really not start off by cutting your portions where you can cut I always started off with cutting my fats first so I'm going to use this NYX sweet cheeks what is this called soft cheek tint blush mousse um, I always started off with cutting my fat. I have the L'Oreal blushes. I don't think I've used these yet. So I picked up Confident Pink and then I also picked up Daring Rosewood. And honestly, I think Daring Rosewood would go really well. Confident Pink, I'm going to swatch her. No, she's not going in Tiwaya. But let's try Daring Rosewood and see how she looks. This looks almost like it'll be more of a bronzer. This is going to be very powdery. And it is looking very bronzer-ish. I see some color, but that's a lot deeper than what I expected. So I'm going to use a different color. Because I don't want these cheeks to start looking muddy. Hell, let's do Confident Pink. I ain't going nowhere. No, let's go back to NYX. See how I'm all over the place? It's not rocket science. Like, I start off stuff that I'm doing... I'm like, do I put this on top of all these powders? Sure, why not? Um, full fat, if you use ranch dressing, lots of calories, lots of fat. Switch that out, start off by switching it going to a low fat. And then after that, once you get used to the taste, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, it's just, it tastes different. It's going to taste different. It's not gonna taste as good, but once you get used to it, it doesn't taste bad. Um, and then after that, you go from low fat to no fat. And that's literally like when I started my journey, that is how I got into changing my diet to be able to lose weight. It wasn't just this crash diet binge thing. I love this color, by the way, and it is perfect for these eyes. Um, it's not rocket science and it's not a crash thing. You want it to be something that you can maintain 
so that you get lasting results versus doing some kind of crash diet and the next thing you know you feel so deprived and so over it that you binge and then you gain all your weight back so that is the start of how you lose weight it is just that simple and of course you got to be active i don't have a lot of other than like Juvia's Place, um, blush, uh, highlighters. So I know this is so old, but it still works so good. Super Shock Highlighter from ColourPop. Absolutely love this. I use it with a brush. I use it with my finger. It picks up either way, as you can see here. I need to get a new one of these and stop, whoa. Stop playing because I swear to God, this is probably like five, six years old. I don't even understand how it's still a gel. So y'all can comment and ask me questions if you would like. I am not, repeat, I am not a nutritionist. I do not have any kind of background, oh no, in diet other than my own experiences. And also I have helped some other clients who wanted to lose weight but honestly for them it was more just about having someone to be accountable to because when you're trying to do it by yourself and you're not accountable to anybody else it is so easy to just be like whatever i'm just gonna go stop at wendy's and eat this burger and it's not a big deal versus if you know you got to come home and check in with me and tell me what you ate today that might should make you think twice about that burger I really like how this looks. I was kind of skeptical, but this is coming together. And that foundation is not bad. All right, what do we have next? We got some lips, brows. Do I have anything new? I guess we can finish the eyes. We're at that point. I'm going to go back in with Fearless, the dark purple shade, and just smudge that on my bottom. And then I also cannot stress enough the importance of drinking your water. Like that is literally, there will be some people who are like, oh, well, I don't drink water at all. Or they drink, you know, maybe sodas. But again, it is also something that plays a big part in your diet because if you're consuming a lot of sugar, sugar literally just sits on you and turns into fat and that's where you're going to see the weight gain in your belly the most like all the stuff that we complain about how do i lose my belly how do i lose my belly that's in the kitchen that is no exercise you can do there's no amount of sit-ups or crunches or anything that you can do that is going to get rid of your belly if you are drinking sodas and having a bunch of sugar that is just the hard truth and I'm sorry if that messes up whatever ideas you have about how you think you're going to get into shape, but I ain't going to lie to you. So if you are serious about wanting to lose weight, that is something that you really need to get serious about getting in check because you can't if you're still trying to consume sodas and sweet teas and lemonades and all that junk. Another culprit that we don't think about, because a lot of people say, well, I didn't count my snacks. How do you not count your snacks? If you're putting it in your mouth and digesting it, that is part of your diet. You have to. I just went in with Voyage and created this little wing. I'm probably still going to go in with liner, but I'm just playing at this point. You have to count everything. So if you're having Chick-fil-A and you decide, oh, well, I'm going to go get some grilled nuggets. Great. Very good. But then you turn around and have three Polynesia sauces. How much sugar's in there? And no, you cannot tell me you didn't count that because yes, that also counts. So it's just a matter of getting to the point to where you start really looking at your food instead of just looking at, I just wanna eat and looking at what is this gonna do for my body when I consume it. If you change that way of thinking about it, it's gonna help a lot. I feel like I'm rambling, so we need to get into these brows real quick. I have two Maybelline products that I want to try that I think I'm probably going to get rid of. Oh, no, this one should be good. This is the Maybelline Express Brow 
Is this a powder? Yeah, this one has a powder and a pencil on the end. We're going to use this. I don't like that it doesn't have a spoolie. Do I have a spoolie? I'll do one. I'll do one on camera because I realize I've probably been rambling and talking too much. So, yeah, you don't need to go hire a nutritionist to start off. I feel like people find a lot of reasons not to get in shape because it's going to cost a lot or I got to spend money on this or I got to do this. You don't have to do any of those things if you're just starting and you really just want to get a feel for the basics. All you have to do, start seeing where you can cut your fats and where you can cut sugars, not all carbs. I did not say that. Don't try to say I said I said that. I'm going to say it again. Sugars. Start off with those two things and you will be amazed at the progress you make. And then honestly, that will probably and should motivate you to see what else you're willing to try. Even without specifically like starting to do a workout regimen, just changing those things in the kitchen will help you start losing weight. But for your heart health and general well-being, you need to get some exercise. Get out, move around. That's how you're going to make sure you have a long, healthy life. So this is one brow, and I feel like this is looking really patchy. I'm going to try this powder. Okay, that's filling in the patch. But why would the pencil have a patch? Maybe because it's old. Maybe because she's a little waxy. I don't love when they're too waxy. But that's one brow right there. I'm going to do the other one off camera and then we'll come back and try to finish up the rest of this fast so I can stop preaching. This is going because it's too dark. This is in the shade, I'm pretty sure dark brown. Although I don't see it on here. I love that it has the powder, black brown. Yeah, it's too dark. And my brows got super big really quick. Wasn't going for that. So let's finish the rest. I have this little bitty micro hyper easy brush tip liner from Maybelline. I am going to line my upper just a little bit. But yeah, I know a lot of people get super overwhelmed at the idea of losing weight and just feel like they don't know where to start. I hope that that helped because it does not have to be this huge thing. Exercise can be just, you know, walk around your neighborhood or jump rope if you can do that. Or if you join a gym, you know, you start off on the elliptical and then move to the bike and then... Or start off on the bike and then move to the elliptical. Like, just do it all in baby steps. Don't try to kill yourself right from the beginning because it's going to be so hard that you're just going to get frustrated and you're going to feel like you can't do it and you're going to quit. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with this LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner in Snowflake. Or do I want... I have another one right here. This is more of a champagne gold. I think we're going to go with that. This one is in, where is the name on these things? Lullaby. Oh, no. I thought this wasn't working, but she's working. For mascara. I have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara, Extreme Black. I've probably had this for forever, but I don't remember. Oh, I haven't used it. Let's see what she does. I feel like if I can see this with my eye makeup on, then I should give it a try for like my gym days. It has a curved brush. I don't know anything about this formula, like what's supposed to be good about it, but I just have this thing where I'm like, uh, don't throw it away, you spent money on it. But like, if you're never gonna use it, what difference does it make? 
it's just more stuff to dig through when you're trying to get to the stuff that you love and I don't want to be like that it's just different if you have a bunch of stuff that you like then that's one thing but if you got a bunch of stuff and you don't like half of it but you're just holding on to it that's not okay I just don't feel like that was enough for me so we're gonna put her in the go pile I can see it but I don't know I don't feel like it's anything like revolutionary like oh this is such a great mascara four lips of course I did not pull a lip liner I'm gonna use an oldie, oldie but a goodie. This is my NYX NYX lip liner in Urban Cafe. Tried and true. Now we do have some lip products. I have three and I don't know which one I wanna use. I have this Flower Beauty Bitten Lip Stain in Play. I really want to try this. I think I'm doing this. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. Everybody's been talking about these. This is in Punchy. Let's see. That is so pretty and it's not too pink. Good job, Barbara. Ooh, yes, that is perfect. She needs to come out because that shade oh i think i'm in love punchy i really think i want i know i don't need more of anything but i've heard so many good things about these and they have so many different shades that it kind of makes me want to get some more uh we're gonna do lashes i have Eyelore london pre-glued Light and Wispies. It says reusable for up to three wears and you get 15 hour wear and it only takes seconds to apply. I'm sure they tell you to do this without having anything on your eyes because that'll probably make it easier for it to stick, but yeah, we didn't do that. So let's see if we can get these to stick with eyeshadow on. I had to come back on camera and show y'all how these just applied. Where have these been all my life? Like, what? Literal seconds. Watch. I didn't even cut them. I probably could have, but I just didn't. I used my little grippers here, grabbed it in the middle. Y'all. I figured where I want it to be more in the front as like the guide because the ends I can just always pull up and wing out. It's stuck. She's stuck. And then I just take the end. Oh, did she stick already? Yeah, a little bit. Y'all, my lashes are on. Why did I not know about these sooner? And I'm about to rack up. And yes, I know I got 50 other pairs of lashes and I don't care because when I want something to throw on easy and quick, these are gonna be it. And then I can wear lashes more. Last but not least for setting spray, I have this Milani Make It Last Sunscreen Setting Spray. Now y'all tell me something because I have other sunscreen setting sprays and I feel like, number one, they make my foundation look warmer. Number two, they make my mask, my foundation like melt off. Have y'all had that issue before? Because I know this make it last. Okay, this ain't going to be weird. Oh, it definitely smells like sunscreen. Yep, it's going to make it warmer. I see it already. Like it gives you a little bit of a glow, but then I just feel like over the day, my makeup just ends up feeling like it's gonna, it melts off a lot faster. I get oilier. So tell me if y'all had that problem before, but we'll see how this works. I did it today because like I said, I ain't going nowhere, but I can see like my face has a glow now. 
which I don't mind as long as it doesn't take all my foundation off. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think. Y'all, these lashes, I'm telling you, I need more pairs because I like how my face turned out. I'm surprised. Like, I feel like we did a good job on the match. Gave me more coverage than I thought it was because at first I wasn't feeling too helpful. Everything came together. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.